Alright, what we're going to talk about is the bucket on the tractor, how it works. You, the tractor can be used as a loader as well as for a cutting implement. To lift up the bucket, we pull back. Once we have it back, we can also adjust the bucket by going left or right. If you pull left, it'll dump, or it'll go back. Pull right, it'll dump. Bring it back flat. This bar right here tells you what your angle is of your bucket. It's called an indicator bar. It'll let you know where your bucket's positioned. Right there is flat. So now I can push it down by pushing the bar down. Look down here. Push down and it'll it'll lower. Alright, so we'll raise it up so you can watch it lower real quick. Alright, when using this for things other than bucket, what you need to do is raise it up a little bit. Then we have a lockout down here. We want to lock it out so it doesn't accidentally move whenever you're trying to do what you got to do. We're going to jump off real quick and show you how to detach the bucket. Alright, if we touch the bucket, you gotta raise it up a little bit. I'm fat and lazy, so I usually raise it up a whole lot. is a lifting bar if you do use it as a lifting bar be aware there's hydraulic lines right here just throw a chain around that you can kink those hydraulic lines and you're in for a big repair you're better off using this as a lifting bar but it's really not that strong either if you're going to lift with something you want to wrap it around one of these and use that as a lift but now it's cleared off so you can cut grass do whatever you got to do and not have to worry about running into stuff with bucket with the bucket my son one time ran the bucket into the tire of his car. Guess what happened to the tire of his car? Bye. All right. Thank you.